Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be discussing basic comparison in between RISC and CISC architecture. My dear students, RISC means reduced instruction set computer and CISC means complex instruction set computer. So RISC is having less number of instruction in set of computer and in CISC you will be having complex instruction. So there will be many instruction in set of computer. But when we talk about both of these computers design then there are many things that you need to know with respect to different parameters. I will explain you each and everything with respect to different parameter in this video. So I can give you guarantee after watching this video you will be having exact idea about what is risk, what is CISC and how design philosophy is there behind risk and CISC. So my dear students here when we talk about risk and CISC then first of all you should know what is the basic full form which is there with risk. It is reduced instruction set computer and CISC is complex instruction set computer. So with risk you will be having less number of instruction in computer and with CISC you will be having many instruction along with complex instruction in computer. Here my dear students you should know instruction size with risk it is fixed right while with CISC it varies with respect to instruction. For complex instruction size of instruction will be more and for simple instruction size of instruction will be less right. So here my dear students size of instruction varies with respect to operation in CISC but it is almost fixed with all the instructions with risk right. Here my dear students instruction fetch time that is also same for all the instruction with risk but instruction fetch time that varies with respect to instruction in CISC as if you have complex instruction in that case you need to have more instruction fetch time and for simple instruction it will take less time to fetch the instruction right. So based on complexity instruction fetch time that is even changing with respect to CISC architecture while with RISC you will be observing it is constant for almost all the instructions right. Here my dear students when we talk about instruction set then it will be small and simple for RISC right but with CISC it will be large and complex. There are varieties of instructions will be available right. There will be more memory kind of instructions that will be available with CISC. With RISC instruction set that will be purely based on resistors only right as RISC is there based on load and store and CISC is not there based on load and store right. So as CISC is not there based on load and store varieties of complex instructions are available with respect to memory. But RISC architecture that is there based on resistors only right. So small and simple instructions will be there with RISC architecture. My dear students addressing modes will be less with RISC architecture. Why? The reason is most of the instructions are based on resistors only right. So less addressing modes will be there and here with CISC many addressing modes will be there. Why? The reason is CISC architecture is having instructions based on resistors as well as memory. So when you operate with varieties of modes with respect to memory you will be having many other modes while with RISC we don't have many modes with respect to memory right. We just have load and store mode with respect to memory so less number of modes will be there in terms of addressing mode and CISC is having more addressing mode right. My dear students when we talk about number of resistors then RISC will be having many resistors inside CPU while with CISC it will be having few resistors. Why the reason is RISC architecture that is based on resistors execution only and CISC architecture that is based on complexity of instructions right. So here you don't need to have many resistors you will be operating with memory right. So inside memory you can store the data and you can operate along with instructions. While with RISC you will be performing almost all the operations with respect to resistors so you should have many resistors in RISC architecture right. Here my dear students when we talk about design of compiler then it will be simple with RISC why the reason is we have 
small set of instructions right and when we talk about sysc architecture its compiler design will be complex why the reason is instruction set is complex many addressing modes are there so your compiler design will be complex with sysc architecture here my dear students when we talk about program size then it will be long with risk architecture why the reason is we have simple instructions it is based on registers only right so to perform any particular task you will have to write many instructions so your program size will be long in sysc will be having small program why the reason is we are having complex instructions right and because of complex instructions are available by writing few instructions only we can perform program right so you'll be observing risk architecture is having weak code density with respect to program and sysc architecture that is having better code density better code density means less number of instructions are there in given program right while with risk you'll be having more instructions for same program that's why weak code density will be there my dear students when we talk about number of operands then that is fixed with risk architecture mainly it will be there in registers only why the reason is most of the instructions are there with respect to registers only and load and store is happening with risk architecture right so one operand that will be register only second operand could be memory but it will be having fixed number of operands when we talk about sysc architecture operands varies with respect to instructions it can be register it can be memory right so you will be observing variable operands are there for simple instructions you may have registers as a operand but for complex instruction you may be having registers as well as memory as a operand right my dear students when we talk about control unit then hardware control unit is there with risk why the reason is instruction set is fixed it is having simple instruction so we can have hardware control right but with sysc if you provide hardware control then it will be very costly right so here we will be having control unit with micro program controlled right so here hardware control that will be faster compared to micro program controlled with sysc that you should know right as hardware will provide direct execution in micro program micro program will get executed and it will control that right here when we talk about execution speed then risk is very fast compared to sysc why the reason is here instruction size is same because of that you can have efficient pipelining here instruction size is different so you can have inefficient pipelining in pipelining in parallel we can execute many instruction here because of inefficient pipelining you need to flush the pipelining frequently in that case your execution will be slower right only major advantage which is there with sysc that is better code density compared to risk that one can say right here my dear students as i have told you pipelining is more effective with risk and it will be less effective with sysc right why the reason is variable size instruction will insert bubble in the pipelining and in branch execution you will be observing that you will have to flush the pipeline right so sysc is having more bubbles in the pipeline risk is having less bubble in the pipeline that's why risk is effective in pipelining and my dear students when we talk about processor then you should know this risk is more suitable for dedicated operation and sysc that is more suitable for varieties of operation why it is more suitable for varieties of operation the reason is complex instructions are there with risk you have fixed and simple instructions so you will have to perform dedicated operation using risk but as if you have varieties of operation then you should go for sysc so that is how risk and sysc are there and this is how design philosophy is there i hope it is clear to you still if any query is there what i want is you just post that in comment box to have a discussion with me thank you so much for watching this video